The video you're about to watch is sponsored by North Tack Optics. In my opinion, and after hours of testing, the best value-based optics that you're going to find. When it comes to value for your hard-earned dollar, it's almost impossible to beat North Tack. They have features like electronic programming, motion sensor activation, adjustable auto-off timer, solid construction design, one-half MOA clicks, 12 brightness settings, removable kill flash, black anodized finish, lens covers, and that comes with a 100% lifetime warranty. My friends and I put a North Tack M10 on a double barrel 30 caliber machine gun and proved it's a tough little optic. So check out North Tack Optics, especially during November while they're having their November sale that gets you up to 40% off. I have another coupon code that'll last all year round. And if you guys want links to all that stuff, check out my direct.me below and head over to my website for more information. Thanks again to North Tack for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. An assault weapons ban coming down the pipeline, and it might be a lot sooner than you think. So here we are, post-election 2022, and the Democrats have maintained control of the Senate. The president, because of recent events, comes out and says that he wants the assault weapons ban enacted immediately. This has been parroted by other people in his staff and, you know, the uh, White House press secretary, and everybody's pretty much saying they want it done. Well, how soon is done? Well, H.R. 1808 is still sitting in the Senate. So this means that Democrats understand that at least for the next couple of years, if they want to get something done in, in terms of gun control and the assault weapons ban of 2022, they're going to have to do it now. Because with the House changing hands this next year, that's pretty much going to be the end of it. They're not going to be able to start over and get anything passed through the House. So they're going to have to use H.R. 1808 that's already passed the House under this current Congress, and they're going to have to use that, which means more than likely we're going to see H.R. 1808 pop out of committee fairly soon, and it can get voted on almost immediately, which means we could be looking at this actually being passed in Congress, both the House and the Senate, before 2022 is up, so before the end of this year. And well, constitutionality apparently be damned, the Constitution is more like a speed bump to these people than an actual roadblock, uh, the president said that he's going to sign it. He's going to green light this one as fast as possible. That's regardless of the text, which says shall not be infringed, or previous Supreme Court decisions like Heller or Bruin that already say that the government is not allowed to touch this. This is not something that you're allowed to touch. But they continue to do it anyway. It passes the House. It passes the Senate. Again, Constitution be damned. Goes up to the president's desk, and again, he says that he'll sign it. So this is, this is really an important thing that we need to make sure that we're contacting people over and telling them that, hey, this, this will not stand. You cannot vote for something like this and take people's rights away because that goes directly against the oath that you swore when you took your seat. And so we need to sometimes maybe remind them of that. So again, it's, it's a, a very important next month and a half where we need to watch 18, uh, H.R. 1808 and see exactly what happens. See when it pops out of committee. If it pops out of committee soon, you can expect a vote soon. If it seems to hang out in committee for a long time, closer to the end of the year, maybe there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about where you know people that are kind of on the fence about it maybe have changed their mind and don't want to vote for it, and maybe it's just going to you know, kind of stay in committee. So we'll see what happens there. But again, uh, it could go either way. My prediction is it's going to pop out of committee pretty soon. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And I'll let you guys know if anything moves there. But I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and you all have a great day.